Hey everyone, welcome to yet another uh, Throwback Thursday. Um, today I'm going to be talking about this Infernal Dictionary Ultimate Edition. Um, it was originally published in um, <clears throat> 1818. Uh, it was written by... Uh, Colin de Plancy, and um, unfortunately, um, I am greatly disappointed in the uh, quality of the book. Uh, there are a few things that are wrong with it. <coughs> They are beautiful editions, but they are made with very cheap imitation leather, unfortunately. Um, but uh, you get really nice presentation of this. Um, just uh, amazing artwork. Um, so this is kind of the uh, godfather of occult books in dictionaries um, involving the occult. And I want to say that this is probably the first English edition um, Oh, it says it was originally published in 1863. There have been other editions, but this is the most complete one. Some editions just uh, go into the demons and all that. Uh, but they don't go into the other stuff. So this has all the original illustrations. Um, Paper-wise, the paper really isn't bad. Um, I've seen better. The, the binding is very shoddy, though, I will tell you. Um, it just seems very shoddy. So, the publisher, let's see. Who is the publisher of this? Uh, Braxis House, it looks like. Um, it's sort of like if you are aware of uh, the Stephen Skinner books, um, the grimoires that he does, uh, those are oftentimes considered very shoddy. Um, so I think they kind of miss the opportunity here on this. Um, but, uh, and obviously the price really could have come down <laughs> because of this, uh, but, uh, oh man, my mic just came off, okay. So, this has uh, all kinds of things, and it's not just the uh, um, Inferno stuff. Um, he goes into everything from, like, uh, divination, uh, you know, usual witchcraft stuff. 
<clears throat> so uh, you can see here that uh, you're already starting to get uh, some of that. <clears throat> I mean, you could see just kind of the shoddiness going on here on the corner and all that. So, very, very poor binding. Um, to be honest with you, I think um, I'm probably going to have to rebind this eventually. Um, what they should have done was just release it in real leather. Now, as you know, I'm not a big fan of real leather, but um, if you're going to charge a hundred and something dollars, you might <laughs> want to make sure that you're using top quality. Um, so. Of course, you can get these illustrations in other places as well. There are some people who really just want this book because they want the uh, illustrations, but um, it's got things in here about like torture, uh, um, table tapping. You know, all kinds of uh, things that are associated with uh, magic and all the sorcerers and famous magicians and stuff. And then to add to it, now this is where it does get pretty good. Um, here are some new illustrations uh, that were added. So the color plates are a nice addition to this book. They really are. Um, if you're going to spend all that money, uh, <laughs> you know, you might as well get it, but it's a Braxis. Kind of insulting. That's wrong. So, let me do see this. Yeah. Which is really just that short. I... Ball. Of course, they didn't fill himself with a can of night. Ball. Barbados. I'm not crazy about this. It looks like something in Doom. <laughs> you know, if you're into uh, the video game Doom. Um, more than how I would depict him. Balthagor, Ball of Pure. Um, it's actually the proper name for him. 
title anyway, Lord of Pure. Pure. So, I will tell you what's really odd about the plants, too. Um, a lot of people say that when he first, the first edition of this came out, um, it was more from an objective point of view, not really from a Christian point of view. Uh, sometime before he released the second edition, he really became a hardcore Christian. So he started taking deities uh, such as Kali and turning them into demons and uh, <clears throat> so um, again, you have these uh, Hindu type of deities, uh, you know, and of course he's demonizing them, like what most Christians do. <laughs> um, but that's the thing, a lot of these deities, uh, a lot of these demons are actually deities from uh, Canaanite also, ancient Canaanite. They were the enemies of Yahweh and uh, got transformed into just really lower spirits of the Boeotia. So, Leonard. Um, what's going on, Jerry? Can you just stop? Those of you who have been following uh, my Black Goat ritual will know that I uh, actually did some work with Leonard recently. Um, Lucifer. Which is a typical uh, Christianization depiction of him. Um... Moloch. Again, another Canaanite deity that is uh, demonized horrendously. So, Tarngasag, I, I believe that's how you say his name, um, this is actually a old ancient, uh, uh I want to say, um, it's, it's a, um, I, I don't want to use the term Indian, but it's, it's some type of, uh, native deity or something, it's, I don't believe it's Native American, um, but it is some type of native Indian deity. Um, once again, a, another deity that's demonized. Um, 
there's the lag. That's cool, which is Sabbath. Ah, here's a, this might be a Japanese one or something, it's on. This sounds like a very Asian one. So, you decide if you want to spend a uh, hundred and something dollars on this, but um, it is an interesting historical reference book for what it's worth. Um, I just think it could have been better made <laughs> quality wise. Um, it does come with this nice slip case too to kind of protect it. Um, so, but, uh, yes, so this is the, uh, Inferno Dictionary, um, the Ultimate Edition, um, it's in English, and it has all the illustrations plus those new color plates, so, um, yeah, like and subscribe, thank you.